Yo, what's up everybody? It's your boy Reggie here, back with you for another video. Welcome back to the House of Animation, where we have discussions and reviews about our favorite anime and cartoons. And in today's video, we're going to be talking about the Titans, but more specifically Beast Boy. Now earlier, I actually made a video about Starfire, please check that out if you haven't seen it before. But now I want to talk about Beast Boy himself. Now Beast Boy has always been one of my favorite Titans, he's probably my second favorite right behind the boy wonder of course yeah you know i mean robin is always going to be number one with me but beast boy is for sure number two i always like the character who's fun and playful and always keeps things light-hearted because that's just more fun and a little bit more of my personality as well but in this video i want to talk about the episode and really the time that beast boy learned what it means to become a man at least for me during the time it was an episode that i really took to heart and especially right now now i think a lot of men should take to heart as well so without any further ado let's hop into the video Now the episode I really want to talk about is this episode focused around Beast Boy called A Beast Within. Now it starts off with the Titans pretty much fighting some random dickhead named Adonis. And I ain't gonna hold you, he's kind of beating their ass. Now a common trope with the show is that Beast Boy is usually the butt of a lot of jokes. And normally that's okay, Beast Boy takes a lot of the jokes in stride and rolls with the punches. He usually finds it kind of funny himself. I fear that this time his brain is gone forever. Beast Boy had a brain. <laughs> Good one. And as an X-Class clown, if you're gonna be making jokes, you gotta be able to take them as well. But in this episode, and a lot of times in real life, there's a time where a joke goes too far. It's always okay if you're joking with me, it's never okay if you're joking at me. Now, I gotta say, during this part of the episode, Adonis was beating Beast Boy's ass and insulting him while doing it. And with everyone, there's a certain point where they kind of just snap. Beast Boy loses control and then goes ape shit on Adonis. He starts ripping him apart and then both of them land into this like vat of chemicals where they get a bunch of chemicals on them and then you could see like an immediate change in Beast Boy's mentality. It was so out of character that it even shocked the Titans. Raven had to say this herself. Good job. Nice intensity. Yeah, have any good freakouts lately? I just got sick of being pushed around. And honestly, what Beast Boy said was kind of real. A lot of us either were or know somebody who got picked on a lot while we was in high school or maybe even younger than that. And sometimes it can go too far and then they just snap and get tired of being pushed around. Now, I want to make this clear. Standing up for yourself is not a bad thing. I advocate for it. I love when someone gets a little power and then starts to be able to assert themselves. But there's a difference between asserting yourself and abusing yourself that power and what we see from this episode is beast boy finally stands up for himself gains some power and he likes it but now he starts to like it a little bit too much we see from the episode beast boy starts to become angry and aggressive hostile and rude and to be honest this is a path that a lot of people usually go down who didn't have some power gain some power and now they start to abuse it so like i don't know about y'all but we had hall monitors in my high school and now that i start to think about it it's funny that all the people who are hall monitors are always those people that may not have had a lot of friends or no one really liked or maybe got picked on a bit and then once they become hall monitors they start to gain a little power and start feeling 
feeling themselves a little bit. We could even talk about the people who may have been bullies. I know a couple of people who may have been short or skinny and then during puberty right after like a summer break or something like that, then they gain like a foot taller and now they start bullying people and making fun of people themselves. And if we really want to take it to the extreme, there's a lot of good cops out there, but there's a lot of cops that I know personally who wanted that power because they may not have had that respect or power when they were younger. And a common trait between all of these people is that they didn't have power, gained it quickly, and never learned how to control it. So during the episode, Raven and Beast Boy go missing and the Titans start searching for him. The Titans eventually find Raven in the mouth of this giant beast and they go immediately immediately into attack mode. Now this monster is kind of giving them the work. It's hard for them to pin him down. He's strong, he's fast, and no matter what they're throwing at him, he's coming right back at them. But after a little while, they finally start winning, and then once they take the monster out, they realized that it was Beast Boy. So after the Titans capture Beast Boy and start to explain him what they think at the time he's doing, Beast Boy realizes it and then starts to even fear himself, fears what he's capable of. And you start to feel bad for him a little bit because everybody's treating him like he's a monster and he's dangerous. But even though at this moment he may be, I wanna make it clear that I personally don't think that's a bad thing. I think men should be dangerous. Jordan Peterson has a great quote about this himself. Competent and dangerous? Hmm. Why dangerous? Because it's the alternative to being weak. And weak is not good. The people who shoot up the high schools, they're weak. They're weak. How is it good to be dangerous? Because it makes you formidable. And life is a very difficult process. And it's not for, you're not prepared for it unless, unless you have the capacity for, to be dangerous. And I think that's real. Men should be strong. They should be smart. They should be competent and they should be dangerous. You need to be able to be all those things. And then you need to learn how to control it because men nowadays often get demonized just for being who they are, sometimes deservedly so, and sometimes not so much. So when Beast Boy is in this monster form and he's going up against Adonis, who's actually the person doing the bad things, he's losing, but then he he slowly starts to be able to learn how to control it. And when he starts winning, I think we realize that dangerous doesn't always mean bad. And I just want to say weak doesn't always mean good. If you're harmless, you're just weak. And if you're weak, you're not going to be good. You can't be because it takes strength to be good. It's very difficult to be good. So by the end of this episode, Raven goes to talk to Beast Boy and he's sitting by himself sad. He's sad because now he knows that there's this animal inside of him, this dangerous beast that could be let out at any moment if he's not careful. And you know what Raven does? She thanks him for it and gives us this great line right here. Cyborg says the chemicals at the lab mess with my DNA, unleash something primal. And he gave you an antidote. You're better now. Yeah, but that thing, that beast, it came from inside me, and it's still there. I can feel it. Good. If it wasn't for that beast, I might not be here right now. Having that thing inside doesn't make you an animal. Knowing when to let it out is what makes you a man. And I just love that because it's a lesson that every boy should hear because hearing it and understanding it is what I think makes you a man. So I just want to tell all the men out there that you should be strong, become smart, become competent. That's what makes you dangerous. Become all of those things and then learn how to control it. So comment below and let me know what you think of Beast Boy and the rest of the Titans or maybe tell me some lessons that you learned while watching the show. But with that, I got nothing left for this video. So, peace.